hello guys welcome to our channel in this session we are going to see how to use include files in the yaml so let's start first of all why it's required the include keyword here so you know we are using one yaml file that's called dot gitlab dot yaml and we are just defining all the stages in this yaml file so what i want to do i want to break down those all these stages into separate yaml file and those yaml file i want to execute from the other yaml file so that's regarding we are using the include keyword here there are three four different types of include local include remote include files and template so in that case we are using one local because we are doing changes locally here so let's start so this is our yaml file click on the edit so what I will do, I will copy all the stages from here and I will remove this YAML file. Because I will create a new YAML file here with the breakdown stages. And also I will create one more directory here because I want to add all the three different YAML file in the other path so what i will do just i will add one directory with the name of this pipelines and i will create a directory here so this is the one directory we are inside indirectly let's click on the new file and create one file with the name of stages so this is our build stage so i will remove build sorry test and deploy stage from here and what i will do I will give the name build stage gitlab ci.yml just I will commit the changes after that again I will go back to the pipeline and I will create one more file here I will paste the code and here I will use test and deploy stage in the one yaml file and I will give name here test deploy hyphen gitlab ci.yaml let's scroll down and comment the changes after that just copy this path from here go back to our project name under the demo project name and here we need to create a main yaml file let's click on the new file give the name dot gitlab ci dot yaml from here to there will include all these stages so how we'll do that using the include keyword followed by colon with this local key and let's let's paste the path whatever we copied so this is for the deploy let's copy paste one more time for the building stage So when we have defined for the build gitlab ci.yml and other is for test deploy gitlab ci.yml and after that we need to define the stages here build test and deploy if we are using stages here so no need to define under the separate yaml file stages so we can ignore that from there as well let's commit the changes and let's see So having in some issue with this okay syntax error let's check that open the duplicate tab and check the exact path having some typo here go inside the pipelines build a stage okay we have added only build gitlab ci dot okay so let's give the proper name build stage gitlab ci.yml let's commit the changes and let's see okay there is no syntax error after that go to the pipelines and let's check the status of pipeline okay pipeline has been started with the three different stages building testing and deploying so let's click on this and let's check wait for the completion our build stage has been completed let's click on it and let's see 
this is build a job state job succeed let's go back and check test job this is the test job stage let's check a deploy okay this is a deploy job stage so this is the way we can use multiple yaml file with different configuration in the same yaml in the one yaml file i hope guys you understood the concept of include so thank you for watching